in the front room. Well, I thought we'd do a little update before we move. Let me, Kim. Thought we'd do a little update, did we? Where are you? Before we move? Yeah? Where's Quackers? Where's your Quackers? Can't find your toys, can you? Oh, there's Quackers! Yay! Oh, that was a bit half-hearted, wasn't it? Can I get him? There he is. Well, we are moving, as you probably all aware. So I'm actually trying to get my slipper. <laughs> um, it is now what is it? Tuesday. We move a week today. But in between that, we're going on holiday. So it's all a bit mad, really. So I'm stood in my front room, looking at my front room. I thought you might like to have a look. Look. It's practically floor to ceiling with stuff. Oh, there's my lovely flowers. See my flowers? There's my lovely flowers. It's an absolute shambles. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, that's everything pretty much from upstairs. So into the kitchen. Oh, my poor kitchen. My kitchen doesn't look like my kitchen. I'll turn around so you can see my kitchen. Look. <gasps> and I'm putting it off. I'm putting it off. I'm putting it off. This horrible packing. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. I've got an empty box down here. Can you see it? Yeah. It's been there an hour. <laughs> I still haven't put anything in it. I've been in the garden. And I am um, determined I'm not leaving my rotary washing line. So I've pulled it out. But not only have I pulled it out, I've pulled out a great big lump of concrete. <laughs> so can you see it? It's there <laughs> next to the chair with a great big lump of concrete on it. So I've, I've made good the, the grass. <laughs> but I'm not leaving it. I'm taking it with me. Bugger it. So... Going in the garden, Moo. Come on then. So yeah, so um, this is my kitchen currently at the moment. It's horrendous, and now I can't even find anything to put you on because it's just oh, stuff everywhere. So oh, hello. <laughs> I got my new glasses on. They're orange. Quite like those. So yes, yeah, so it's all um, pretty manic. Um, no cooking today, sorry. I'm still not cooking. Um, well, I am cooking, but I'm not cooking, you know, YouTube cooking. Um, so just a little update, really. Um, been over mum's today. She's doing really well, bless her. She is doing well. Um, and I took a shop in. We went to good old Morrison's and um, got a nice bottle of gin. This my gin. I'm running out of gin. I've got a little bit of Hendrix left. But they, it's only a Diddy bottle. And you can't see. I can't see in there how much I've got. I think there might be half a glass left. So, ooh. Anyway, in Morrison's, they have Bombay Dry Gin. Um, it is a 700 mil it's not a litre it's 700 mils but it was only 14 pounds on special offer nice so i've got a nice bottle of gin i have got this rhubarb and ginger but it's quite gingery I'm not an awful lover a great lover rather of ginger i like ginger but mm, it is it is quite ginger but apparently my mum likes ginger so her and jason are going to drink this when mum comes to visit us in the new house. That'll be there, Tipple. So, yeah. So, that was Morrison's. And what else did we do? Oh, the, um, the vicar, Stephen, he came this morning to chat to us. And we talked about, you know, dad and all that sort of stuff. And mum and I managed to get through the whole of that meeting without crying. So that was really good. I was very proud of, proud of us both. <laughs> well done mother um, yeah so he just wanted to know he knows my dad they, he knows my parents um, my mum actually does stuff in the church um, she does like the flowers and things like that They're on a she's on a rotor with some of the ladies 
and she sort of cleans the pews and things like that, you know, because so, they live in a little village, so they help out where they can. And my dad used to go and um, water the the garden, you know, the grounds and that sort of thing, so um, before he got poorly. So Stephen knows my parents, so that's the vicar. He's very, very nice. He's a lovely, lovely man. So, yeah, so we met with him, and then Jay, my eldest, he came over to cut Grandma's grass, and he'd been away for the weekend with his girlfriend, or his fiance. They'd been to Portugal. So it was nice to catch up with him. Then, um, oh, um, Alec, the funeral director, he dropped in, and um, he brought in the order of service to show us, for us to approve and um, we'd given him some nice pictures of dad so um, he'd put them on the front and then the hymns and everything and he'd put um, a little picture of a steam train inside because my dad used to like steam trains so that was a nice little touch he'd done so yeah so that was nice and then I come home then I decided to dig out the washing line and I'm just still now I'm doing this because I just don't want to start doing this packing <laughs> it's horrible Tomorrow I've got to clean the cooker. Oh, I was going to get it done professionally. It's not minging, but for a double oven, well, it's a, it's a single, it's an oven, then it's got an oven with a grill. It was going to be 60 quid. I thought, Christ, it's not that dirty, so I'm going to do it myself. But I did my nails yesterday, and um, they're going to get trashed tomorrow. So that was a bit pointless exercise, really. Um, and then Thursday I am going to defrost the freezer so it's nearly empty I haven't got a lot left in there so that's good and then Friday we're um, saying goodbye to my darling dad and then Saturday morning we go on holiday we're going to Brixham for a few days and then Sunday Monday we come back um, we're having afternoon tea Sunday, um, so that'll be nice. I've booked us into a hotel and we're going to have afternoon tea, so that'll be lovely. And then Monday we come home. Got a few chores to do Monday, like um, switch off all the white goods, the washing machine and that sort of stuff. Dishwasher, um, disconnect them all and just do a few odds and sods. And then 8 o'clock Tuesday morning, the removal men rock up and pack us up and off we go so yeah so it's all pretty much um happening now so i thought i'd give you a little um update on the dates what we're doing <laughs> and um i'm hoping once i'm in my new kitchen and i've got it all sorted and you know i'm gonna start doing some more videos some some slimming world um videos um so yeah so hopefully the next time i um do a video on youtube it will be a cooking one <laughs> fingers crossed so thank you again for all the lovely messages and um i have missed you all um but i'm still here and i'm in the background <laughs> and um i do hope to come back soon and um i'll catch up with you in the new house bye